In this video, I'm going to briefly dis discuss the application that screen updating option in Microsoft Excel. Whenever you're working with macros, and I'm actually going to create one right now as we're speaking, we can see all the actions that the macro is handling on your screen. And sometimes you may want to prevent the user from seeing that. Number one, that way they don't see all the tasks that you're completing. Or number two, to save time. And I'll explain on how this can save time in, with your macro. So I'm gonna just first off call this long macro. And I'm just gonna copy this data. Copy it, paste it over into sheet two. And then I'm gonna go on and go back to sheet one. And again, there's really no purpose of me doing these specific coloring schemes that I'm about to do. Just wanna show what the application that screen updating will do when you have it enabled. I'm gonna go on and select this column and I'm just gonna color it. Select the next column and I'll make it a, a different color. Select the next column, make it a different color. And I'm just gonna go on and repeat this process a couple of times here. And then now I'm gonna go to sheet two, do something similar. Make this bold, it's italic. And I'm gonna scroll down Put a value down here. Scroll back up. And then I'm gonna go back to sheet one and select range A4. And I'm gonna stop the macro. Now if we were to run this macro, first off I'm gonna change this back to white. Change this back to white as well. And I'm going to run that same macro. When we run the macro, in this case we named it long macro, we're going to see all the actions that are on the screen happen in front of us. We're going to hit run. And we saw all the actions. So now we have the color scheme again. The color scheme here is set up again. And if we scroll down, you'll have that letter A here again. I know it didn't erase it, but it did put it back. Now I'm going to show you what application that screen updating does and it saves time. This is a very short macro quite honestly when working with enterprise projects or large business projects you'll have sometimes macros that execute a lot of code and it can save up a lot of time when you have the application that screen updating enabled. So let me go on and put the color scheme back to just white font color black, take off the bold, take off the italicies here, and do the same thing on sheet one, make this all white. So application that's screen updating. I'm gonna go to our long macro. Again, I know it's, it's really a short macro, but I named it long. I'm gonna select edit. At the very top, we're gonna do application dot screen updating. We wanna set this to false. That way the screen does not update during all these commands. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the end of the commands. And we're going to do application dot screen updating equals true. So now we're re-enabling the image the screen from showing the macros as to what commands are being handled. So now I'm going to go back to the screen and we're going to run this macro. Right now I have F11 selected. After I run the macro, if you remember, A4 gets selected. So that way we can know that the macro was completed. We're gonna do long macro run. And there you have it. You don't have to see all of the commands being executed on the screen because we had screen updating set up to false. We didn't see any of those actions. After all of the actions were completed, we re-enabled the screen updating to be true. That way we can see the macro again. Hope you enjoyed this video. This concludes the application at screen updating portion. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.